Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasure here, and the weekend was a little bit slow sales-wise. Great news though, personally, and great news for reselling. We'll talk about it coming up. Martin Man. Martin Man. Treasures. Welcome into the channel, guys. My name is Troy. I'm a reseller in Montana. I go to garage sales and estate sales. I go to thrift stores. I pick up stuff that I then sell online. And mostly I do that on eBay. Now, eBay up and down lately. And last week, pretty solid here at the mountain. The weekend, eh, you know, it, it was okay. Uh, it, it wasn't terrible. It was just okay. Uh, and then today, as I'm recording this Tuesday morning, not uh, not great. I packed up four things uh, that uh, I, don't, I don't even have to go to the post office today. They all fit in the mailbox. So find the silver linings, right? Good personal news. If you saw the last video, Mountain Kid graduated. This is a pretty resilient group of students. Uh, this year's seniors, uh, you know, if you sort of do the math and go back, this was the group of high school seniors when, uh, when when COVID hit and it screwed up their freshman year and closed down schools. And then the year after that was sort of like hybrid for a lot of places, some at home, some at schools. Uh, it, was, it was a bit of a messy four years for these kids. And uh, they pushed through and they made it. And uh, I'm really, really proud of, uh, of the kid for, uh, for making it through and finishing strong, headed to college in the fall. And uh, so things... Things look different here. Uh, at least they will. You know, right now we're going to enjoy the summer, but uh, with the knowledge that uh, college is coming and things are going to change. And so trying to figure out what that looks like, both personally, professionally, maybe I get to do more of the long garage sales, more trips, potentially. I, we'll see. But for now, we're just celebrating the fact that the kid made it. In fact, check this out. She made the local paper. I, I don't know if she made print copy, but uh, she got a picture uh, in the online gallery. Uh, my buddy, Tom, uh, used to be my photographer when I worked at the paper years ago. And uh, he says, oh, I'll see if I can get a picture of her. He pulled it out. So that a, a, a pretty cool picture. And uh, like I said, uh, exciting time. Um, exciting too, in the realm of shipping supplies. I know you're like me, most of you, and uh, you get sort of uh, ridiculously excited, inappropriately excited, if you talk to some people about, uh, you know, air pillows showing up in an Amazon order. Oh, I can hang on to those. I can use those, right? Uh, bubble wrap in there. You know, the packing paper boxes from family and friends. We get excited over weird things. Well, you know what? I've got some uh, exciting news. American Bubble Boy is now selling tape. That's right. They're selling tape. It's fantastic. It's cheap, and I can get it for you cheaper. We're going to talk about it, but first, we have to take a quick look at what I sold. Solid weekend. Not fantastic weekend, but, you know, I'm not going to complain about any sale. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy, especially considering we, I didn't do a whole lot of listing on graduation weekend. So, uh, happy with what we got. This one... The Amazing Spider-Man, number 162. Of course, we've got uh, Spidey and the Punisher on the front here. Also, Nightcrawler. And uh, this, the first appearance of Jigsaw as well. A lot going on in this comic. It's not in fantastic condition. The uh, the comic buy that I made recently has some good stuff in it. It just it, it wasn't boarded. They were in bags, but they weren't boarded and so there's where and he read them you know these weren't investment pieces for them he bought them as a kid and read them so the condition on a lot of them is uh is not great but when they're still good comics there are some that will sell despite condition issues and uh, this is one of them uh, 162 this one sold for 5.99 plus shipping we've got a trio of hats going out this weekend the original Coors just a uh, snapback hat. This one sold for $15.99 plus shipping. We've got Camp Man. This one, uh, a little bit lower dollar, but still, I love selling hats. 12 bucks, Free shipping on that one. And then the best of the bunch, Vintage Chevron. Look at that. It's foam all the way through. Let me open it up and show you. 
It's foam all the way through it, and the foam is beautiful, not crumbling or anything like that. This is a cool hat. I accepted an offer on the Chevron hat for 24 bucks plus shipping. So those headed out. We got, uh, well, do this one. It's a fork, <laughs> an Oneida fork. Remember, we sold that set of, uh, of flatware for 175 bucks, and then I had some stragglers, you know, stuff that didn't match. And I thought, I've got them. And those that had a sell-through rate of, you know, that it was decent, I listed. Might as well. And this is Oneida. And I forget what the pattern is. It'll say on the card here. But uh, this guy sold, obviously, 100% profit at this point. $8.98 free shipping. So a couple bucks there. Sold a Tupperware lid. I got all of the, I got a pile of these and lady didn't even charge me. So easy, easy to list and to store and to ship. And $5.22, I think I sent an offer out. Uh, $5.22 plus shipping. So five bucks off of that. Easy money. Wally. This was, uh, speaking of graduation weekend, a uh, mountain kid graduating from high school this weekend. That is a weird thing. Uh, Wally was her first in the theater movie. We were living in Oregon and it was a heat wave, no air conditioning. We had to get somewhere that had air conditioning. So we went to the movies with her when she was a little squirt and she saw Wally. So there you go. Random family history. The game, not, not worth a whole lot, especially with it being disc only, but still $2.99 plus shipping for that. This guy's been hanging around. I haven't used these loud, crinkly bags for a long time or the stickers for a very long time. This is three to four years old and eventually found its buyer. It's a Spirit Halloween shirt, uh, just a, a zombie shirt, all torn up and bloody and, you know, a zombie Spirit Halloween shirt. And I bought a whole bunch of these at a garage sale for next to nothing. We sold several right away. And then the rest of them are sitting there waiting like this one to find a buyer. 12 bucks free shipping. I think maybe an offer that I sent out on that one as well. Here we've got from Fitz and Floyd. Look for those guys. Sometimes they have really nice collectible stuff. Fitz and Floyd. This is the annual ornament. Gregorian Santa. You can see it's numbered. I mean, they made 18,000 of them, but still it's, it's limited, right? And uh, well, without unwrapping it, little reindeer from 2000 and a lot of times dated christmas ornaments are a tough sell if it's just a generic like a hallmark dated ornament those can be pretty tough but this one a little bit different uh this one had some value 19 dollars 19 cents plus shipping now we've got a few other things up here let's do uh this guy look at this he's kind of cool he's an old creamer i think i might have got this from my mom just a little kitty creamer and uh, he didn't have a great sell-through rate, but I thought it was cool enough to list and to wait for a buyer. And we found one. $9.98 plus shipping. And I've got some Callaway golf balls. You got golf stuff now. It's the time to get it up for sure. Uh, There's a dozen per box. And we listed them as a set. And pretty decent money off of these. $95.99 free shipping. But I believe I can slip both of those into a padded flat rate envelope so lots of profit there here we've got nas this is uh, an untitled album uh, older vinyl there's some wear of course on the outside just like a lot of these we've been selling lately wear on the album cover but the vinyl the record it's in good shape and this one i accepted an offer 49.99 plus shipping i paid a buck for it here we've got another pikmin plush you guys know i like selling these little bud and uh, these are relatively rare slow sell through rate but they do sell we're actually starting to run low on our various pikmin plush this one sold 28 dollars 79 cents i believe plus shipping here from uh, our game boy buy just a little cord a power link cord and it's got some value too i uh, don't discount cords when you buy bunches of stuff double check the cords this is the, uh, the power link for the Game Boy, $9.48 plus shipping. We've got uh, some of our Coke ladies headed out. We've still got a decent pile of these, and they're all profit. A Timeless Pause with Coca-Cola. This is from the Elegance of Coca-Cola collection. 
got the certificate of authenticity with all of them. I like the little dangly purse. Kind of cool. And she sold for 24 bucks plus shipping. We'll move her out of the way and keep her with her certificate. These are going to the same buyer. So we got her mostly in white with some red accents there. This is a delicious rendezvous with Coca-Cola. And then the lady sitting down with a Tiffany style bottom of the dress. Got the parasol going there. Constantly thirst quenching. Both of these with their certificates, as I said. And the pair of them uh, totaled $41 plus shipping. And I believe the last thing we've got here, a pair of Uggs, but Ugg sandals. And so keep an eye out for Ugg. Ugg is a good brand, even if it's not the boots. And it's definitely time to start selling sandals, I would think. $18.23 plus shipping for those. We do also have a couple ducks to get to. Before we get to that, though, as I went and grabbed a padded flat rate to start packing, I remembered... We sold this as well, and I forgot to bring it over. Uh, this is a McKenna Ryan pattern. These seem to do pretty well out of the big pattern buy that we made. I've still got so many of those that I haven't even looked at yet. But uh, the doodles, little seabirds for a quilt pattern. And this I uh, either sent out or accepted. I believe I accepted a scent offer of 13 bucks plus shipping. We got some ducks headed out. As always, never know if the people buying these are viewers and or resellers wanting to get their ducks in a row or if they just think they're cool little ducks so i like to thank everybody just in case and the little horse duck is heading out to christine so christine thank you so much if uh, in fact you are a viewer for picking that guy up and then we've got a trio now usually the the groups of ducks i kind of assume are viewers but like I said, don't know. Look at that. Three of them. You have to have three to have a row. And so now your ducks can officially be in a row. We've got the little, I don't know, it's not even focusing for me today. We've got the uh, little yellow duck. we got a little baby, baby blue duck. And we got an elephant duck. Yeah, they make elephant ducks. And these are headed out to Janelle. So Janelle, thanks so much. And a pretty quiet 24 hours in the old store just a couple of things heading out today we've got a plush and this actually headed about five miles down the road down to east helena this is jasper t jowls it's a Chuck E. cheese plush and uh i don't think i paid more than a dollar for it i think it was actually like a quarter something like that and he sold for $8.98 plus shipping. Then we've got this guy from Ben 10. Lockjaw, I think is his name. And uh, he's actually missing. You can see on the bottom there, he's supposed to have a jaw down there. And he's missing that piece. But it's a rare enough figure and a popular enough figure that it will still sell even uh, incomplete or broken, however we want to term it, he's not the way he should be, and he still has value. $9.98 plus shipping for that one. Then we have a lens going out, and this sold in just a handful of days. A good little seller, and not real high dollar as far as lenses go, but uh, it's, it's fairly popular because it's just a standard basic lens. Old Canon lens, an 18 to 55. I accepted an offer on this one of $26 plus shipping. And then we've got Snuggle. You guys remember Snuggle? It was the fabric softener. That's what it was. He still got his little tag from Russ. Now, these, just like the Serta Sheep and the Aflac Duck, people collect these things. And uh, I bought a bag of these at, well, it was that same estate sale where I got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Same place. Uh, I got a bag of them for $5. And uh, there are three of them in there all new. They got the rust tag. They got the snuggle tag. Now, these are worth a whole lot more, just like the Serta and the Aflac, if they're larger. This one, not very big, 
right? It's, it's a relatively small plush, but he still has value, especially because he's got the tag still. The Snuggle Bear sold for $19.19 plus shipping. So, like I said, you know, the weekend, he was all right. It was okay. But uh, the weekend made better in reselling by American Bumble Boy. Now, I already use their product. You can see the link in the description underneath. I use their bubble. I buy the recycled bubble, and uh, it works really well. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Uh, if there are ever any problems, their customer service is top-notch. Uh, I, I really, really appreciate the company, and that's why uh, we partnered with them. We don't do that with but just a couple of companies. And uh, I've been talking with Joel, uh, who, who runs American Bubble Boy, uh, talking with him uh, a little bit over the last uh, week, week and a half, something like that, about a new product that he's going to be launching. In fact, they're going to be launching several new products through the rest of the year. So later this year, more stuff coming from Bubble Boy. Keep an eye on that. I'll let you know when, when stuff shows up. But uh, now they have shipping tape, guys, and this is really good. Uh, he, I was able to, to get some early on, and uh, Joel wanted me to test it. He said, you know, run it through. Tell me what you think. What's good? What's bad? What do we need to fix for the next time? They really want to make sure that this is a good product. And uh, at the risk of turning into an infomercial. I, and I don't intend to do that. I just, I, I want to share good information with you and uh, share information that I think will make your business better. And uh, I think this is the deal. Now, I, I've been getting tape from several different places uh, over the years. Most recently, I, I've just been going to Costco. It's literally right down the road from me. And so I don't have to worry about ordering anything online. When I'm starting to get low, I just run down and pick up their big pack of, I think it's eight rolls of tape, something like that. In fact, I, I have it. I have one over here. I'll show you. It's one of these. Some of you guys probably use it. See, there's one missing. Uh, it's it's by 3M, Scotch 3M, heavy duty. It, it's good tape, right? It's fine. But it does actually slide off of my tape gun for some reason. It slips out. I don't know why. I haven't had that problem with any other tape, only that Costco tape. And so I was putting up with it just because of the ease of being able to get it very quickly. Well, you know what? You can get this very quickly. Now, it takes me a few extra days than it does probably most all of you because I'm in a weird dead zone. For most people across the country, uh, two days or less to get this. Now, it's my go-to tape is the brand that he's decided to go with. It's standard width is what I got. They also have a three-inch version. I know some people use the three-inch tape out there. I don't, but some people absolutely love it. Now, this is 2.3 mil on the thickness. Uh, it's the two-inch wide. Uh, universal core, so it's going to fit on your tape guns. And this is a 60-yard roll. The tape from Costco is, uh, I think it's like 54, 56 yards or something. This is actually a little bit longer. And uh, you can see it's on my, this is my garage sale tape gun. I got this thing years ago and it still works really great. Now, the best thing is, uh, like I said, you can get it very quickly and you can get it cheap. It's $34 for the, the package that I got has 24 rolls in it 34 bucks that's free shipping for 24 rolls of tape uh, that that's going to last you a long time even though we use a lot of tape and it's ridiculously cheap and, and and great quality so we're looking at top of the line quality dollar store prices and and that was joel's goal was to bring us as resellers the best product he could at the lowest price on the market. He's always trying to get the lowest price for us. And uh, I think he nailed it. There are some other options and I don't remember the price points. I'll put them down below in the description actually, because uh, I can get those for you if you're curious. But go check out American Bubble Boy. Uh, I, I actually have a link down below that'll get you over to American Bubble Boy if you wanna click over to them. Uh, I do have also Joel made available for our viewers. A, uh, a discount off the already very low price. You can get 5% off if you use the code Mountain Man. It's all caps, all one word, Mountain Man. That'll get you 5% off your tape orders. That's not going to work on any like the bubble or anything else, but that will work right now on their tape. And it's not a one-time use. Anytime you order tape, Mountain Man, and it'll get you 
5% off. So uh, it's already a great deal. You can save a little bit more and work with a fantastic company. So uh, like I said, at the risk of turning this little episode into an infomercial, I just wanted to pass along the information to you really quickly, get it all in in one video. And there you go. I think we did that. So guys, I appreciate you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, if you use Bubble Boy products, uh, let me know. Uh, you know, I can pass along any compliments or qualms, any problems, anything like that. Let me know and I'll get it to Joel. You know, he, he wants to make this stuff better. So uh, I, I appreciate you hanging out. Uh, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, we're trying to grow the channel. So uh, hitting the subscribe button helps us a ton. Uh, the thumb, commenting, the bell will let you know when we put new stuff up. Hit all the buttons on the screen and I'll see you next time.